what's good josh your boy ross back at again with another video so we're gonna check out perk angle the man the myth the legend you guys have been asking me for months to check out this perk angle video about wrestling gifts so that's what i'm gonna do i'm finally gonna check it out Appreciate all the love and support you guys have been showing on the channel. I'm Kurt Angle. Kurt Angle in his prime to simply put it was a maniac and god damn do I love prime Kurt Angle. No, this was a special time to be alive because this man was running around doing the wildest shit for absolutely no reason. Especially in the <clears throat> mid 2000s when Kurt Angle reached a certain point of his career he just started tweaking and became a totally different man and there are so many memories and moments that I remember that are some of the wildest moments I've ever seen in wrestling history. The first memory I I have of Kurt Angle was not drinking milk or being the Olympic hero. No, I remember Kurt Angle just straight up being a psychopath. I first saw mm -hmm. Kurt Angle in 2004 and this was the year that he was named the general manager of SmackDown and he was going to be running the show and everything was cool until one episode. To simplify the storyline, the big show was walking around and couldn't find a Big Mac so he got hangry and for <laughs> some reason he started bullying poor Tori Wilson and this resulted in Kurt Angle pleading the big show to stop. The big show was going to choke slam Tori Wilson off the the top of a balcony what happens instead well it ends up with kurt angle getting choke slammed off the top of the balcony, <laughs> I to remember the floor, that and they made it seem like kurt angle had just died i mean look at his body look at the positioning his legs there was blood that leaking segment. out of his head i was watching this live six years old and I knew for that. Sure that oh that kurt my angle, god bye -bye. bringing back memories he's dead he's never waking up there was no way he was ever gonna wake up after this <laughs> look at the head of this. even the way he was laying there it looks like one of those crime scene chocolate <laughs> Now, I knew for sure he was dead until two weeks later. Angle came back on SmackDown in a wheelchair, which, uh -huh. which first of all, he had his leg in a cast. What about his head, his neck, you know, his everything? We yeah. should have known at this moment that this Kurt Angle was not, nah, man. This guy was a special breed of a wrestler. I don't know why this guy always amps up. I won a gold medal with a broken freaking neck. Yo, he should be talking about how he came back to life after dying. But let me tell you, oh at this God, exact bro. moment when Kurt Angle came back in the wheelchair, nothing was ever the same again kurt angle in 2004 is when he just started tweaking as the wheelchair general manager he abused his power he did whatever he wanted and honestly he was hilarious and the best part was a few months later you found out the whole time he was faking his injury and when he came back as a wrestler he just let loose and he was a straight up menace to society on an episode of smackdown in 2004 an attack team against the big the show, show and Eddie, when big show was left all alone in the ring kurt angle just went outside to ringside when under the announcers tables pulled out this big ass case I think I remember like this segment for Modern Warfare I and think I remember this <laughs> on network television oh, no. he just casually pulls out a strap and this strap <laughs> looked like it was straight from the Super Nintendo and he started moving around like he was playing Duck Hunt he pressed circle to crouch aimed down his sights and he, slid into the ring. he pressed R1 and bang Kurt Angle shot the big show on Smackdown what kind of wrestling was this? <laughs> Just hear that sentence one more time. Kurt Angle shot, shot the Big Show on SmackDown. <laughs> I was watching this live as a kid and I really thought that this time Big Show was dead. Yeah, Kurt Angle survived his near-death experience, but this man just got shot. There is no way he's alive. I saw it with my own two eyes. I had no idea what a tranquilizer was back then. All you see is Big Show just stumbling and tumbling. Meanwhile, Kurt Angle was smiling and drooling all over the damn place. And then this cycle just gets on top of him Yo, with his goose and just starts shaving his head in the ring. Shaving the Big Show's head after shooting with the tranquilizer <laughs> while thousands Look at that of people photo. just stood there and watched. Then in 05, <laughs> things just got more and more out of hand. Now, his, what's worse His than feud with Shawn Michaels, WrestleMania, one of the best matches of all time. It's definitely up there. Fan. Has, they stole the show. They stole the show for that WrestleMania. For Shooting sure. he got the tranquilizer and shaving his head. Well, you're about to find out. Cause first, he brought back the legendary sensational Sherry to help him sing his own version of Shawn Michaels theme song. I'm just a sexy Kurt, sexy <laughs> Kurt. I'll make your ankle hurt. <laughs> All right, that's cool. You know, respect. Amazing song, Kurt Angle. I love it. Hope it goes platinum. And then he just puts the 47-year-old woman in an ankle lock for no reason. But nothing, nothing, nothing was as wild as what this man wanted to do for Oh, Charmel. yeah. What he said to Charmel. I'm like, yo. This nigga Kurt was wild, bro. What the fuck? He found himself in a feud with Booker T, and it was just a normal wrestling feud. Bro, until he, he was, started walking. He was trying to smash... Booker T's wife, bro. That's a real storyline that they came up with in a board meeting. He said some... I'm telling you this now. If a man says some of the stuff 
he wants to do to your girl, you just got to slide him on sight. It's not even, we don't even have nothing to talk about. Just fist to face. All around stalking Booker T's wife. And then one day in an interview, just flat out says this. I want to have sex, sex with, with your wife, wife, bro. That's wild. Bestiality. It was so wild. <laughs> Yo, I'm oh telling you, straight up menace to society. <laughs> and of course, of course, of course, of course, <laughs> what does he end up doing? In a match with Booker T, he's beating up Booker T in the ring, and he just runs away in the middle of the match, runs backstage, goes to Booker T's locker room, <laughs> opens the door, stares at the camera with his creepy ass smile. <laughs> You can't do this no more on television. This nigga Kurt. We just watched a video on how savage Randy Orton was and how much of a menace Randy Orton was. We gotta put respect on Kurt Angle's name. He was he was he was a menace. He was rogue. This is beyond rogue. You leave a match to do some unsavory things to another man's wife? Oh my god. And he just does his thing. Look at his face. Look at his. What is wrong with him? This is not a normal human being. Kurt Angle, one month was having a five star classic at WrestleMania with yep. Shawn Michaels. The next month, he was doing this. As 2005 went on, the maniac just kept tweaking. Yep, he moved he to Raw. Tweaking. He wadded out there. I'll never forget this random ass woo off with Ric Flair. Yeah. Woo! Woo! Cena, and it was cool, you know, for the past year and a half, Angle was just having fun. I mean, I guess if you want to call this fun, I don't know. But little did we know in mid 2005 was when the legend of Perk Angle was being born. Now you might say wrestling gifts, what exactly is Perk Angle? And Perk Angle was when Kurt Angle, after his countless injuries, was so addicted to painkillers that they gave him superpowers and he became a superhero. Yep. Perk, Ang Perk Angle was not a myth, ladies and gentlemen. He was dealing with a lot of pain, so he would stay perked up and helped him deal with the pain, helped him go out there and do what he had to do. Granted, I don't condone this. I don't think anybody should condone, you know, saying a substance abuse, but he literally was perked up out there wrestling, trying to give you 10 star matches, and people were loving it. But at the same time, it's a negative effect to it because you get addicted to it. Now it's not just for the pain, it's just because it feels good. Perk Angle. Now listen, it might sound like I'm glorifying drug use, I'm not okay, but when Kurt Angle became Perk Angle, he became such a beast and he started doing shit that did not make any sense whatsoever. Former WWE star Kurt Angle has revealed in a candid interview with uh, Dan uh, LeBat, Dan Le, uh, Le, what is that, Dan Le Batard show, that uh, he was taking... 65 extra strength Vicodin a day at the height of his addiction. God damn. Bro. I want you. He's taking. He's probably. He was pouring them like a handful at a time, bro. He was out of there. Oh, man. By mid-2005, Kurt Angle said himself that he was taking 65 extra strength vitamin pills a day at the height of his addiction problem. And could you really blame him? Okay, he had broken necks, broken this, broken that. He needed the painkillers to survive. By 2006, Perk Angle was in full effect and the legend began. And what made Perk Angle so insane was, even though everything personally for him was going downhill, but somehow in yeah, the ring, in this the guy ring. was in his prime. And that's why Perk Angle is this mythical figure. In 06, once he became the wrestling machine and put that mouth guard in his mouth, yep. it was over. It was done. He became a superhero. But like I said, this was not good for him. This was it obviously wasn't. the worst thing he could possibly do. So what happens? He gets released from the WWE in mm -hmm. his prime at what seemed like it was going to be the peak of his career. Kurt Angle was let go from the WWE, but but it wasn't over. Like I said at the beginning of the video, from what I know, from what people were had, you know, some videos I've seen here and there talked about it. You know, once he went to TNA, he turned it up. Like I'm, I've never really seen any of his TNA matches, but from what I know. And for what people are saying, that's some of his best matches ever in wrestling. Like, his TNA stuff was just legendary, and he was perked up. Oh, man. Perk Angle, man, he was not going to stop wrestling. No, no, no. 
He was still going to wrestle, and he signed with another wrestling company, TNA. TNA Wrestling. In a move that shocked the industry, Perk Angle jumped over to TNA, and just from the video that announced his signing, you just knew that this man was going to go mental. <laughs> Look at that, bro. Yeah! So Angle signed with TNA, made his debut in what was such a hype moment against Samoa Joe, and for the next 5 years while popping 60 pills a day, this man risked his life and his body, and he was doing things with his body that shouldn't be possible. Yeah. Just look at this stuff. He pulls up to TNA, and he just, no, it's it's a wrap. Shortly after his debut, he has a match with Sting. What does he do? He goes to the top rope, he's stumbling and tumbling off balance, and just casually jumps in the air and does a 450 oh. splash slash knee drop, whatever the hell that was. This was a 220 pound Olympic heavyweight wrestler doing this. Why? How? Huh? Even Kevin Nash was just there like, what? He would go out there, get DDT'd off the top of the rope. He made the main event mafia, started mm. calling himself the Godfather. And um, yeah, uh, he did this. Ladies and gentlemen, this man, this iconic Perk Angle moment. This is the peak of Perk Angle. This madman did a flying senton off the top of the ramp for no reason yep. whatsoever. No, I'm genuinely serious. Abyss didn't even know that Angle was going to do this. He was just standing there, looks up. Wow, that's even crazier. <laughs> that move is stupid it's just ridiculous he's like yo i didn't, I didn't even know he was gonna do that shit bro he just fucking did it <laughs> and just sees angle do a senton look, look at, at the that. height look at the speed Kurt, what are you doing and then in the same match oh yeah how about ladies and gentlemen let's just do this oh nah, my he's not god it. might as well just do it whoever taught Kurt angle how to do a senton should be bad because he just kept going and going more sentons to make foley over tables started doing ladder matches where he oh. pulls out the ring and animations that look like oh a my game. god he's literally out there just killing himself for bruh from from people that have been saying Kurt Angle his best stuff was in TNA and looking from these clips it it's looking like it <laughs> just from the clips alone like I said I've never seen a Kurt Angle match in TNA but I've always heard that was the best shit he did in wrestling. Bro, look at wow, just insane. For more details on his TNA run, please go check out Marky D123's video. He covers everything, and it's one of my favorite videos of his I've ever seen. But yeah, speaking I may of, have to uh, check Kurt it Angle, out, bro. During this time, did I mention that his uh, wife left him and he had a bunch of DUIs? I feel Damn. so bad for Mr. Angle in this. Like, it's so sad because his life was just going downhill, but he was just leaving it all out in the ring. But wow. I'm serious. There is no way you can look at me and not tell me that from 06 until 2011, Kurt angle did not have superpowers but the absolute peak of perk angle took place at lockdown 2010 it was a steel cage match anderson versus angle and the fact that i mentioned steel cage you guys already know what went down he had done it once before back in 2001 but missed but this time he was in 2001 kurt angle he was perk angle after 20 or so minutes of killing each other angle was on top of the cage and he simply said yolo at this point what do i even say um roll the clip Oh my! What the f? I, I can't. I can't. Ladies and gentlemen, Kurt Angle in the mid to late 2000s. It started off as haha, oh my god, Angle is crazy, he's shaving heads and making people tap to yo, oh my god, Kurt Angle is on one right now. Can someone please get him out the ring? This man was at his absolute worst, but still carried TNA wrestling on his back, risking it all every Bro, single night, in? going above and beyond what he needed to do. The bean was kicking in, everything was kicking in, and as funny as it is to joke about it and crazy everything that happened, don't forget how sad this truly was. Shout out to Kurt Angle, he's a legend, he's a GOAT. Thank God that he's clean, he's sober, and he's living and his that's, best that's life. That's great. But this time period. That's, oh my God. Honestly, it just leaves me speechless. Ah. What a time it was to be alive. I'm speechless. Just off that clip alone. But bro, did you... What the fuck? I may need to check out some old school... Well, they, I guess you could say old school. It's been so long, but... I may need to check out some TNA matches with Kurt Angle in him. I may have to, bro. That was ridiculous. That was truly truly ridiculous i heard about it i knew he was perked up i didn't know he was perked up a little bit before he left wwe but it makes sense they let him go because of it 
Add, add Perk Angle to the menace. He is part of the menace society of wrestlers, bro. It's Randy Orton. He's in there. You got to add Perk Angle in there. Because, yo, that... Wow, man. Hey, but the silver lining in all of this is I am so glad that he is okay. And he's much better. And he's sober. That's all that matters. The fact that everything else may have been, like, not going well for him in life. But when he got in that ring, it didn't matter. He, all he wanted to do was entertain. That's an, that's incredible. Comment down below. Let me know. If you guys want me to check out some TNA Kurt Angle clips, bro. I may actually do that. I'm actually... Actually, I can't even speak. I'm actually intrigued. Just off the clips I've seen. Just those clips alone got me curious. Hopefully, if I am able to check it out, hopefully they shouldn't trip and allow me to post it on here with no issues or whatnot. Uh, copyright issues because I, I may have to check that out. Let me know. Seriously, if y'all want me to check out some, some TNA highlights of Kurt Angle and, or maybe certain matches, let, put them in the comments. I got to check this out because this is ridiculous. But I appreciate all the love and support. Road to 80K. Appreciate y'all kicking me. See y'all on the next one. Peace.